to be famous, huh? The Ella the made us, huh? You know I'm Pisces in Vegas, huh? This is the that hate us, huh? I make a lot of new money, huh? When the it's not safe, huh? You be liking my flavor, huh? I think it's God. Ice on the wrist, on the wrist, on the wrist. Watch out, kid. I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're gonna be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I... I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Who's he going to be? Okay, okay.
with this team's star starting quarterback out, they're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid could do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Nate? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. Uh, doesn't that say something right there? What happened to that trust? Coach, you wanted to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. A better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me you're the guy to get it done hey jojo <laughs> you lose weight i did yes <laughs> glad you noticed hey boy game day baby game day get in there whoa hey. whoa 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 the event staff is around the corner you see mm -hmm. hey babe go on in there uh-huh uh, this is for players and coaches only. I'm here to play LSU. What? The Tigers, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I know who you are, but, uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. Right. So, we all know your situation tonight but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. 
How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, I, oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. I guess you could say I always stay engaged with my teammates. As you go about the week, I want to make sure everyone is prepared and ready to do the job when we come there for game day. So a real team first, team player guy. Yeah, sure, you can say that. Yo, Taylor, hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, Bye. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah. Man. Yeah? Because winning a national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. I got you.
easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. And what do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Oh, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah? Outside, heavy snow, surprisingly, with temps in the 20s. The good news, we are inside AT&T Stadium in Arlington, and tonight it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups, as we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Texas Longhorns. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Uh, thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. LSU with a first and 10. Now Deku, and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Thomas on third down. Looking left side and it's complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A great pick up there, 35 yards, and obviously the first down to go along with it. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us for their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. 
Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards of the first down completion. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Operating from the gun, Thomas. And he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. A five-yard touchdown. And LSU has taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned to get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Already down 7-0. Here comes his first collegiate snap on first and 10. On the carry, this is Slay. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much. It's a foot race. 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Longhorns. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Still first Watch down. the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Well, they didn't really have to earn that first down, did they? Well, they're not having to earn much, are they? Back-to-back -to -back penalties. First was first and five, and now they give them a first down. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Now a give, right side. Livingston, he's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Extra point up and through. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Go, 
The Texas offense set to take over again. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive and you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A good throw there, but boy, a tough situation for this offense, for this program, really. When you think about it, Marcus Washington, four-year starter, came in as a true freshman to lead this team. He's third all-time. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah, thought he was trying to get Yeah, that wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Texas here in the college football playoff looking for what would be their fifth national title. They were a powerhouse back in the 60s and 70s, winning it in 63, 69, and 70. But then they waited 35 years before winning it again in 2005 and haven't won it since. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Here's a first and 10, Texas. Now it's Smith. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Smith. And he rips that one incomplete there. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Off of play action, here's Smith. On the crossing route, complete. That's Young. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. So much made about the fact that we've got a quarterback who's never seen the field in a college football game. But if you go back to his high school days, he's played in front of crowds. Maybe not quite this size, but it wasn't abnormal for them to have 15, 20,000 people in the stands at his high school games. And the numbers from his senior year as a prepster, impressive. Led his team to a 14-0 record, threw for close to 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, just four interceptions. And he also chipped in 11 rushing touchdowns to boot so it's not and he is in touchdown longhorns a great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half and his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up and always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice and it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on, just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The LSU offense about set to begin their next possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the time. And a loose football. And this is picked up by the defense. Off 
often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. All told, they get 13 yards on that play. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Back to throw, Smith. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he will take this in for a Longhorn touchdown from 19 yards away. And his guys are going to take the lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of the play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. So now after the touchdown, the Longhorns get ready to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this goal around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing. and A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The Longhorns come up first and 10. Going ground game with Slay. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Play action. It's Smith. Rolling to his left. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Well, you have to think, to this point in the semifinal matchup, you've got to be very impressed with the way that he's moved this offense. And they really have not missed a beat from the way that Marcus Washington led them during the regular season. If anything, actually, they might be moving the ball a little bit better. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Call that a gain of 11. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping is big defensive line. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. 
But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fit man. They needed 17, and they got 18. A defensive lapse there, and it's a first down. You know, you think back to what kind of parallels you can draw for what this young quarterback is trying to do, trying to lead a team to a national championship with so little experience. And the one name that I come back to, Cardell Jones at Ohio State back in the 2014 season. Very similar situation. Limited appearances through the first few years of his career. Then all of a sudden, he's thrust into the national spotlight, just like this young man has been. And all Jones was able to do, well, win a national championship and then move on to a career in the NFL. So it can definitely happen. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Longhorns. It's a three-yard touchdown run. And the Longhorns add on to that lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The LSU offense about set to begin their next possession. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard flat on his back now they got to get to the line quickly Thomas will look to throw oh the pressure too great and he goes down once more need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards it's third and very long Okay, let's check in with you. How do you feel about the first half? <laughs> That's how we play. Let's go. We had a great first half. We keep doing what we're doing, we might win this thing. There's a lot of we's in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates, but you remember you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. Let's go. Coach, really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. That's on me. I'm over it. All that matters is the win. All right. Can you handle it if I open up the playbook a little bit in the second half? Let's do it. Let's get him. Thanks, Coach. All right. The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. This fielded at the two. And he's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Defense. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Excellent field position after the face mask penalty. First and 10 out near midfield. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. There he goes left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Longhorns. And there he had to 
to break multiple tackles to earn that touchdown. Bottom line, he earned that touchdown. Indeed he did. That was pretty much a get off of me run and all the way into the end zone. The point after is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second. There he goes, right side. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Extra point safely through. And that will shave one more off this lead. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Again, the underlying story here, no snaps in four years. It seems kind of hard to believe. You almost wonder if there's some type of lingering animosity between quarterback and coach, because there certainly have been a few. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is in. Touchdown, Longhorns. Jermaine Slay, his second touchdown of the night. And the Longhorns add on to that lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. So now after the touchdown, the Longhorns get ready to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Now they go screen. It's complete. No, bottled up, fumble, it's out, it's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain the yard, he's trying to get upfield, ball comes free. It, what's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it, and somehow he got to it and was able to recover for his squad. 
Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's a first and 10, Texas. Check girls, check girls, check girls. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Longhorns. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The extra point up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So now after the touchdown, the Longhorns get ready to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The LSU offense about set to begin their next possession. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. Oh, yeah. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now Thomas looking to throw on second down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of football. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. Evades the tackler, and now some space. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. After the interception, here's Smith. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I would run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal. So they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. And his kick is indeed good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Thomas off play action he's going to wind up and air it out and that is incomplete showed off the arm strength there but to no avail second down this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield and look it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone eventually that becomes man on man and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football oh, yeah. 
so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The Longhorns offense has not missed a beat. And that Texas fan base, it is large, it is loud, it is proud. And they can start to smell it now. They are about to be headed for a national title game as they start out on this drive here first and ten. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. To throw on second and six, Smith. Being chased out left. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right, his first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. They give to Slay here. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So, Charles, let's look ahead. This is the first of two semifinals on this night, so we don't know the opponent yet, but you'd have to think that the road will get tougher from here. I'd have to agree with that because now there's going to be film, and they'll game plan for him. But you look at our quarterback, he's had everything go his way so far. And as you just stated, no guarantees this continues on January the 7th, so we'll pump the brakes a little bit. There he goes left side, and he will score. Touchdown, Longhorns. That was a pretty impressive touchdown play. Those broken tackles, those weren't easy to get by. No, they really weren't. And they've had trouble tackling throughout this ball game. But on this particular play, how about that move? Or I should say moves with an S. Because I don't care if you're a great tackler, you had trouble getting him on the ground on that play. So now after the touchdown, the Longhorns get ready to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well caught. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. This is brought in at the 21. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 
The offense for the Longhorns getting ready to begin their next drive. So here we are, Charles. This one all but decided. Normally in this situation, you'd say, hey, let's put the backup in. But this is the backup, and you've got to think he needs more reps for January 7th. I would agree with that totally. He's been waiting four years for this opportunity. What I want to know is who exactly is going to take him off the field? Like who's going to go out there and say, you're done, son. You've had a big night. You might need the Texas Mounted Police to go get him <laughs> off the field right now. He wants to play. On first down, they go option to the right. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right. His longest run of the game waited until the fourth quarter. And maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain, did it to perfection. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. taken down but he does have first down yardage and they got three yards that's enough a conversion and now it's first and goal here are the Longhorns now on first and goal they'll try to run this one in So on the strength of three touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the Texas Longhorns are moving on to play for a national title on Monday, January the 7th. 